financing for 60 months on a 2010 Cobalt or HHR. Visit ChevyDetroit.com. Chevy drives the Motor City. Welcome back. Well, last night at 11, Local 4 Dr. Frank McGeorge revealed some of the big secrets of The Biggest Loser. And one of the topics the contestants rarely talk about is what happens to their bodies after they lose so much weight. Well, this morning, two local contestants are opening up about that sensitive issue. Here's Dr. Frank McGeorge with the story. Imagine losing more than half of your current body weight. While parts of your body, like bones, don't change, Everything that contains fat will shrink dramatically, and your skin, which was stretched by all of that previous fat, is just left hanging, leaving many people turning to surgery. Sterling Heights native and Biggest Loser winner Helen Phillips was so proud to have lost more weight than any other woman in the show's history, but there were still issues. I finally reached my goal weight, and then I looked in the mirror and I was like, okay, now what? Now what do I do with this skin? Birmingham plastic surgeon Dr. Stephen Morris sees this commonly after massive weight loss. The patients that undergo this, whether they've had bariatric surgery to lose the weight or they've done it just with diet and exercise, uh, have made a tremendous accomplishment. But then they're unfortunately uh, a little bit frustrated because they have these issues of excess skin. I could do a thousand crunches every single day. That excess skin is not going to go away. It's only a surgeon that can take that away from me. After losing more than 120 pounds, Helen's daughter Shannon had surgery to remove her excess skin. Psychologically, like my self-esteem, I can't believe how much better I feel about myself after having these procedures done. Shannon had uh, her breast done with an implant and a lifting procedure. She also had her tummy tuck done and uh, uh, had some areas of liposuction done and also had the brachioplasty or the arm procedure. The skin left behind can cause some unexpected problems. It can become infected more easily and causes difficulty with fitting clothes, especially at the arms. They try to buy a shirt and they can fit their torso, but their arms don't fit into the shirt. I've lost 140 pounds and no matter what size bra I buy or any type of undergarment that I try to buy it still doesn't make me feel good. After seeing her daughter's results Helen is planning a breast lift with augmentation. Um, I'm not looking for a larger size or anything I just want them I want them lifted and the excess skin removed and I'm looking for a tummy tuck um, and all of my ex excess skin on my tummy removed as well. Lose the weight, get the surgery, feel awesome, move on. Now, Dr. Morris says some patients come to him for liposuction or a tummy tuck too early. Generally, it's much better to lose the weight than have skin removed. Don't use liposuction or a tummy tuck as a substitute for real weight loss. Back to you. Oh, killjoy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I just want to share, um, Helen Phillips, she is out and about she's in the so community, great. giving back, talking with schools, and she's working hard with actually Detroit public schools to try and change the foods that they have in their schools. And she also spoke with the kids in my charity over the weekend for one of our programs. So uh, she's doing a lot in the community, sharing her story and really inspiring a lot of other people. Good work. Yes. Yeah. It's That's been a good. great springboard for her. Yeah, it sure year. has. Yeah, very important work and so inspiring, as you mentioned, both her and her daughter. Oh, they certainly are. Yeah. Well, give us some inspiration. Something to look forward to in the forecast. Yeah. This well, is a dismal we start. We have sunshine and warmer conditions later this week. That is certainly some good news. And that will lift everyone's spirits. Out there right now, yes, we have gray skies and some raindrops out there. You can see them on the camera lens with 51 degrees. Scattered showers now appearing on four live radar as they have been all morning long. You can see that along 75, also along Telegraph and Woodward up into the Pontiac area. Waterford right now still experiencing some light rain. Some light to moderate rain also in St. Clair County around the Port Huron area. Memphis, good morning. In Richmond, you have some light to moderate rain as well. Temp